Hey everyone, Red here, and welcome back to another Reds Requested, and today we have the Auras Everywhere Plague Build. So let's go ahead and break it down real quick. First, we have Lethal Pursuer. At the start of the trial, the aura of all survivors are revealed to us for 9 seconds, and anytime a survivor's aura is shown for a period of time, its duration is going to be increased by 2 seconds. Second, we have Nowhere to Hide. Whenever we kick a generator, we'll reveal the aura of all survivors standing within 24 meters of our position for 5 seconds. Third, we have Pop Goes the Weasel. After hooking a survivor, the next generator we damage will instantly lose 30% of its current progress. Last but not least, we have Tinkerer. Whenever a generator is repaired to 70% progress, it triggers a loud noise notification, and we are granted the undetectable status effect for the next 16 seconds. Remember though, that Tinker can only work once per generator. As far as requested add-ons, and the reason why we don't have more aura perks is because of black incense. Sickened survivors who throw up are going to have their aura revealed for 3 seconds. And we have the Alabanum Incense, I don't know if I slaughtered that, but survivors who cleanse that fountains have their auras revealed for 4 seconds. Aura builds can be a lot of fun with Plague especially, so I'm really excited to jump into some games. Make sure if you guys have a build you want to see on the channel, they leave it down in the comment section below. And make sure it at least has the word build, because that's why I used to search for the builds on the YouTube comments when I look for res requested. If it looks like fun, you might just see it here. Much love, now let's go ahead and get to the gameplay. Alright, and for our first game, we have RPD. And we'll be able to start this game off nicely with Lethal Pursuer. We already got one survivor on our corner there. We have a survivor right there, and am I missing? Oh, there we go. We have someone right there. I wonder if maybe they were in a locker or something early. I don't know. I feel like we didn't see them for a second until they hopped on the generator, but thankfully we will interrupt two survivors on the gen right now. We have the other survivor over there on the other generator. They've already moved away. Fair enough. That way they can't come back and work on this. Okay. Oh, we uh, super stayed. Hi. A little brave. How are we doing this? Nice. Oh, this is going to be such a quick down. There you go. Hold that for me. And I can hear them working on the gen over there. So what we're going to do is we're going to want to take her right down here. That way we can go to the gen and come back. We basically get to protect the hook for an extra second while getting to slow the game down thanks to Pop Goes the Weasel. Of course, they're going to be able to hold forward. RPD is really brutal about the ability to hold forward. So we're really going to try and catch survivors off the best we can. Which hopefully will be able to do more so once Tinker starts like procking. Did we come back up this way? No. Well, fair enough. I'm gonna swing back over here for a second if someone touch our gen. I know this is the only gen we have on. Yeah, I was gonna say this is the only gen we've thrown up on recently. We'll make it a quick two down special. This is a very dangerous position for survivors to be in. Oh, good. They're getting themselves out of it. If I would have been able to get both of them hooked up right here, they'd be in a very bad spot. I won't make it over there. I'm just going to pop this again. Yeah, that gen's a little far out of our way. Maybe we could have played on it, but I don't think so. Hey, what's going on? Tinker value, though, right away. Probably should have taken the save. Oh, yeah, definitely should have. There we go. That survivor goes to stage two. They're going to complete that gen, but... Again, we have somebody who's going to be on death hook later on in the game. And it looks like they did take like a chance a second ago to go for it. Nah, man, so close. I'm going to try and play on this. Ooh, it's going to be close. There we go, nice. We get removed this pallet and the other pallet after I get a quick hook up here. There you go. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this for later as well, just in case we have to play it over here. And we're already holding forward. We have a survivor right here as well. The game's looking pretty good for us at the moment, but it is RPD. And, we, you know, it's not exactly a uh, always an instant win when you start off on the right foot on this map. So we want to play it pretty serious here. Like, this is always going to be a big waste of time, but we have you over here instead. Yeah, either way, they're going to get a good chase value here that there it goes let's just go ahead and get rid of this pallet so we don't gotta worry about it later while we have some extra time if they choose to stay injured thank you if they choose to stay injured we'll get great aura reading but we won't really get any good value off of our power 
uh, with Corrupt Purge. We are working on the gen to the left, so we might have to come back here in a second. Ooh, and you got a pallet. Okay. Yeah, we're definitely going to try and catch a survivor off guard. Really hard to catch a survivor off guard in this gen. Yeah, that's fine. Only one real place you can play on. We'll get rid of this pallet. Ooh, there it is. They got some pressure out there. Oh, and you messed up really bad on that. That's one of those things that could actually be like a big game throw. By not pre-dropping that instead. Yeah, that's fine. I'll just go ahead and pop this one. If she would have pre-dropped that, she would have wasted more time than trying to look for the stun. And pre-dropping is not something you should always do on like super safe pallets like that, but there was a lot of pressure already built up. She needed to drop it to get space, and I have to break it. So that one should have been a pre-drop all the way. Oh, that is unfortunate. And it's going to give them the save and buy them a little bit of extra time. I swear, Blast Mine's always a pain. But I also love running it as like a survivor. She's got a little bit of distance, but there's not a ton to play on if she goes up. Yeah. She's got one pallet here. Hopefully it's not like the W pallet. Nope, it's not. Cool. So this is the pallet spawn you want in this room. There we go. Because you can play on this one a lot easier than if it spawns against the statue. If it spawns against the statue, we're in trouble. There we go. Another tinker and another gen down. Yeah, these guys are definitely starting to kill it on the gens, but, you know, we'll, we'll play it back in the moment. They're all injured, and anytime Tinker goes off, we have a chance to get some good value. The problem is I need to kind of bust this pallet out. That way I don't have to worry about it anymore. We have another survivor I think is going to try and go through and go for the save. Ooh, and we have you right there. Yeah, I think we'll branch over here. I'm going to try and keep that red saint hidden. She might be used to my terror radius. Hi. Yeah. It's a very close game for how strong we started, but now we got a survivor out of the way, and we can finally grab our Corrupt. We should be pretty solid from here on out, but we'll see. One survivor on the gen, and one survivor keeping a lookout. Well, that's smart, but you better start running. Wow, you were looking out for me, and you did not get enough distance. Alright, let's go ahead and hit this. Oh, hold up. Oh, how is that not hit? Oh, okay. Hold on. Are we playing this game? I see. She feels safe there. Fair enough. Come on. Got it. Haha. <laughs> Here we go. The Meghead did go through and actually get rid of her infection, which is smart. I think that's what she should have done because now she can make this save a lot safer than if she stayed injured. Meg gets the save. And we get the survivor on the hook. How are we playing? Oh, we were over this way. Is this a mag? I can't really tell. Oh, no. It's uh, Michaela. Okay. Well, Michaela wants to run around here. That's fine. Try and branch out. Are you going for the save? Nope. That survivor is giving up. It doesn't matter either way. Because if she goes for the save, we kill her. The game's definitely now 100% a pretty big dub here. Off the record. Should I respect? No, I shouldn't have. I mean, I can just kind of eat it. It's not really that big of a deal. There we go. We already got rid of the strong pallet over here. She'll try and maybe tie it back in, but if we can get her pinched on the pallet, we're good. Yeah. Now she's kind of pinched, so now it's just a 50-50. There it goes. Can I get you to go back? There it is. Oh. We got the Tinker right there. Well, we almost got down to one gen, and now I can just take her over here to this hook instead. Up you go. You gonna try and get it? No. It's my gen. Just add a little bit of salt to the wound. All right, that is game number one. Let's go ahead and move to our next. All right, we got Coal Tower for the second game. I don't mind that. We got one, two, three, three survivors starting on one gen. This is perfect. This is always what we want to see because it means that all their gen pressure is in like one area where we can kind of break that up. And now they can't work on that gen for a moment longer. Hey, gamer. 
Yeah, a little bit harder to do that now. You can't really sit in front of Plague anymore and just avoid all of the purge. Alright, and the other survivor was in here on Shack, So this should be all their gen pressure at the moment being over here. And it sounds like it. We'll throw up on it that way. Maybe we don't have to worry about it for later. Oh, here we are. Hi. Hold that for me. She's going over here. I don't know if she's going to work on the gen, but it'd be kind of brave. We'll see. Should be pretty close here. You always gotta lead a little bit. There we go. Easy break. Dwight is also now infected. Oh. Wow. My guy gamed himself. We have her right there. Fair enough. There goes Tinker. Really on that gen. She did have a toolbox. So, okay. Another Tinkerer. Okay. Well, we got a double Tinkerer. They do. They are separated. Miss skill check. It's so close to being done, too. No! Nice. And a third Tinkerer. Wow. All right. I think what we're going to do is do this. And we're going to come over here and try and go for him. If I pick her up, they do two gens. We can maybe gamble. Oh, come on. Hi. And now we get denied that. Awesome. On a bigger map, we might not be able to get this. But on a bigger map, they'd also have farther travel time. So they might not be... They might not have as much gen pressure as you would think on a normal game. Now we can go ahead and nuke this gen as well. They've already went through. They've gotten the save. And now I get corrupt. We gotta try and see if we can get like another quick down or two. He's already holding forward. And we have two survivors here. He's gonna go for the save. Got it. I want to do this. Is she going to hold forward? She does. Nice. Thank you. Very quick down there. Yeah, we're going to try and fight back on like a lot of this early progression they have. One survivor there. That's still regressing. It's been pretty much nuked to ha uh, about halfway. And hold up. Hey, gamers. Hold that for me. All right. Can we find him, maybe? It's either distortion or what? Off the record? Had to be like off the record. There we go. We'll take the two for one special. One survivor running over to the gen right there. Okay, so we at least have an idea where everyone is. So if I go for him right here, she has to be the one who goes for the save. Which means we can put her into a really compromised spot later on. There we go. And we've officially kind of brought back our value, I think. Oh, he didn't see us. Hi. He was trying to look for it, but we must have just barely got past him. And it looks like they might be calling it right now, which is great because that means we kind of just stole that early game from them. The question now is whether or not she went for the save. There we go. I don't think so. This gen has quite a bit of pressure. Like, they had, like, these guys were, like, cranking gens, but, like, that's, like, their whole thing. Their whole shtick this game was like, can we crank the gens or are we going to die trying? And I think we got the answer to how that's going to go. There we go. There we go. It makes it a little bit more hard to hit the purge. Perfect. Wow. Incredibly dominating game for us for game number two. But that is today's build. Overall, I hope you all enjoyed it. Much love. And until next time, I am Red and I... I'm signing off.